Hi guys, today I want to make a speed comparison of different methods of travel in Minecraft. So for that I built up this 100 meter test track and at the back you can already see the stopwatch running. It's as accurate as a 20th of a second and I want to yeah, test pretty much everything from walking over boat travel to horses and even yeah, flying. So I'm already doing the first test so I want to see how long it takes to cover 100 meters with normal walking and it takes 23.20 seconds. The stopwatch is completely made of vanilla survival redstone and I want to order the test results from slowest to fastest. One of the slowest ways to cover distance is definitely crouching. So let's see how long it takes to cover 100 meters while crouching. One minute, 17 seconds and 25 hundredths of a second. So this test made me curious. I want to see what's the absolute slowest way to travel in Minecraft. So I put soul sand on top of ice blocks and then cobwebs on top. I'm gonna crouch and also drink a potion of slowness. Yeah, since it would take ages to cover 100 meters, I'm just doing a five meter test. Ooh, that was painfully slow. So it takes almost three minutes to just cover five blocks with this method. Let's see how long it takes for a pig to cover the distance. Ah, oh, that's nothing special. 41 seconds, quite slow. Now let's try sprinting. Seventeen point eight five. Let's see what a speed one potion does while sprinting. Fourteen point nine. Now let's see what speed two does while sprinting. Not bad. Twelve point eight. I was always curious if jumping while sprinting would have a positive effect. And it definitely has 14.25. The speed of horses is random, so here I summoned the slowest possible horse. Twenty one point one five. So the slowest horse is slower than a sprinting player. In contrast to the normal horses, donkeys always have a fixed speed value. It takes every donkey 13.6 seconds to cover 100 meters. This is the fastest mule possible. Not bad for a mule, 8.4. And this is the fastest horse you could get in survival. Seven point one. Now I'm gonna test what a speed 2 potion does on the fastest possible horse. 5.05 seconds. So I'm curious to see what the fastest flying machine could do. So let's try it out. And exactly 30 seconds. How long will it take to get pulled by a furnace minecart? Yeah, that's quite slow. 25 seconds. No wonder nobody uses that. Now let's see golden rails. As expected, 12 and a half seconds. Okay, now let's also try Ultimate Redstone's piston bolt system. So we need exactly five seconds, as expected. So how long will it take to swim that distance? Four 
45.7. And now let's see the boat. Yeah, 12 and a half seconds is pretty much like the minecart. So now I've put down some ice blocks and iron blocks on the top to see how long it would take of sprint jumping on ice. Five point five five seconds is quite good. People say it's even faster if you put trapdoors here, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to hit this base bar as fast as I can. And indeed it's a little bit faster. So five point zero five seconds. One of the fastest methods of travel is definitely boats on ice. So it takes a little bit until you reach max speed, that's why we're gonna try for a flying start. And that was quite good, 2.65. So here's another fast method to click from my card to my card. So let's see how fast it will take. So this was quite good, 3.2, but I got the feeling that I'm limited by the speed that I can click, so my hand already hurts, maybe let's try for script next. Alright, let's see what the clicking script can do. So that was a bit faster, 2.65, just like the boat and ice. Now I'm gonna try to get an estimate for elytra gliding, but you know, it depends. Okay, that took 5.65 seconds, but yeah, it depends on the angle and other factors. And last but not least, let's try out the rockets. So exactly 3 seconds. So it seems like the fastest methods are minecart clicking and boats on ice. So I've tried to test all methods I could come up with. Um, I decided against Entity Collision and TNT Launchers because I don't think it's yeah, viable for survival. And I didn't show the Transonators or Translocators because uh, as of 1.11.2 both are fixed now. So here's an overview of all the test results. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.